Yeah. And let's put our hands together and give the Lord our praise. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Man, God is good. All the time. time. And all the time. God is good. good. I want to welcome you here tonight to Pleasant Hill Western Church where the Word of God makes you and I a promise. Blessed are the day that come hungry and thirsty after righteousness. They shall be filled. filled. So we pray tonight that you came with your cup turned up, ready to get it filled up. God is a good God and worthy of all praise. Amen. 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 We'd like to open up in prayer if you've got prayer requests. I'd like you to announce those. Yes, sir, Brother Randall. Yeah. One of my dear issues. We didn't feel like coming tonight. <coughs> Remember, uh, Ross, you have a surgery tomorrow. Tomorrow. Pray for me. He'll pray for you too. You know. I know. Pray for everybody. All of us need pray. Yeah. <laughs> pray for me. She, yeah, she was there. <laughs> oh, Pastor, uh, Barbara's youngest son, David. And his little, his stepson Stephen. What is today? Wednesday. Yep. It was Monday, I think. I talked with her. They both had COVID. They live. They don't live with her. They live next door. But she said they both have COVID. But she was feeling better Monday. And uh, okay. I don't know that. She said she couldn't keep Stephen. She said I don't want to keep a child with COVID. I said no, you don't. But, uh, but he's. He <coughs> Also, a friend that Roger used to hunt with, his daughter, we've known him for years since she was little. She was only 60 and she passed away. Her name was Cheryl Mabe. I don't know what her married name was. She'll be buried tomorrow. She worked down there at Genesis. We know we want to keep, uh, still keep Patsy. Patsy in prayer, and uh, William Eugene, keep them in prayer, the Smith family, they, they may come in a little later, I don't know, I haven't heard anything, but normally they're here, so we're going to pray for them, we don't know, uh, and then we want to continue to remember a friend of Irene, her name's Maybe, she was uh, when we mentioned about being diagnosed with cancer and doing uh, chemo right now. Uh, my buddy Daniel, he's getting, uh, keeping him in prayer. He's going to have surgery in April. I uh, haven't heard anything about his his wife's father uh, <coughs> called in on hospice. So I haven't heard anything since Sunday. <coughs> so let's continue to pray for that family. And uh, still remembering her mom. Her mom, remember, is bedridden. Uh, Delaney, want to keep her in prayer as well. We want to keep uh, a co-worker, the security guard, his wife diagnosed with cancer in her knee. I think I remember me mentioning that. So we want to lift, lift her up. Um, and some others. And I know we all have lo loved ones we're praying for. And uh, I know we I still remember Michael, you know, always keep lifting up the ones that uh, – that we're not sure of their salvation and so my my sister keeping her lifted up my and her her children keeping all them lifted up amen god's good all the time amen all the time god is good let's go to a little <clears throat> prayer <clears throat> heavenly father we come to you tonight in jesus name to give you thanks praise <clears throat> honor and glory father god we lift up father god your, your name tonight we pray father as david said Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. See if there be any wicked way in me and lead me in thy way everlasting. Father God, as we come into your presence tonight, we pray, Lord, you create within us a clean heart. That, Lord God, as we call upon your name, Lord, we can uh, have confidence and assurance, Lord, that our prayers are being heard. Now, Father God, as our church, we lift up, Father God, these in, uh, that's on our heart, the all the, the participants and parishioners of our church, Lord, we lift up each one. As even as uh, as Junior said, we pray for all of them. Lord, you know all the ones in our church. You know all the ones, what they stand in need of. Father God, all the spiritual, physical, and financial needs of this ministry, you know what it needs, Lord. Father God, we lift up Miss Judy, Lord. We know, Father, that uh, 
sometimes the body just feels the way it does and we don't know why we uh, uh, our backs hurt or whatever the situation that, that causes us to, to just not feel like getting out but Lord we lift her up tonight we pray Father for your blessing to be upon her Father God for little Rose Irene's niece Lord we pray Father for her as she goes in to get the, uh, her uh, adenoids her tonsils out and Lord we lift her up Father we know Lord of uh, that she's probably scared, but she's going to enjoy all that ice cream. We lift up, Lord, uh, Eugene and Millie. Father, we know, Father, that uh, as as we get certain diagnosis from doctors and just experiencing certain sicknesses, Lord, our, we just continue to push through to make it to the house of God. Father God, uh, hoping, Lord God, that, that everything's going to be okay. So, Lord, we lift them up tonight, that you'll bless them as they made the, that extra effort to be here. Father God, in pushing through of not feeling well, we lift up uh, Barbara's son, Lord, her her, her family, Lord, as uh, as they are experiencing COVID. We pray, Father, for a speedy recovery. We pray, Lord, that that COVID will be stay contained and not spread throughout the family. And we ask you, Lord, that you just continue to bless Barbara as well, Lord, to to strengthen her, get her uh, uh, that desire and that ability to be back here in the house of the Lord and uh, back with us here on Wednesday night. We lift up uh, Willie and Sylvia, Father. We ask you, God, to touch them as as, as uh, Willie was lifting up his, his back, uh, uh, some type of disc, degenerative disc. We ask you, Lord, that you touch the doctors, touch his body. Father God, to bring healing and health in him, Lord, and for continue to touch Sylvia with her back, Lord. And Father God, with Patsy, with her back, having back aches and, and issues, Lord, we know, Father, that uh, I know, Lord, when a back begins to hurt, that it's hard to move and sometimes it's even hard to breathe. And Father God, many here at the church have experienced different things with their backs. And I pray, Father, for the anointing of the Holy Spirit to be upon each one, Lord, that you touch their backs. Father God, here tonight, Lord God, if there's someone here in the sanctuary that they uh, are sitting here on the pew, Father God, and their back is hurting, I pray, Father, for your anointing to be upon them, Lord. I pray, Father, that you would... Uh, be with Miss Doris, Father God, tonight, just giving her help and strength. We pray for the, the Smith family, Lord, as they are uh, not sure why why they're not here, but if, they're, if there's an issue, we pray, Father, for your blessing to be upon them, that you keep them safe and healthy and whole. We pray, Father, for the family of, of Cheryl May, Lord. Uh, Father God, you know what uh, her, her, her married name is, but we lift her up, Father, we know, Lord, that 60 is a young age, and we ask you, God, that you would just touch her family. <clears throat> Father God, as they uh, mourn her, and we, we pray, Father, that you console them. Father God, wrap your love around each one of them, Lord. Father God, we uh, pray for our, our church, that our church would be a, a holy church. Father God, a, a church that is sanctified, that the people has a heart and a desire to serve you. We pray, Father God, that you'll add to this church, Father God, of... Uh, people that will come in and be workers, people that will come in to serve you and honor you. Father God, that will go out, Lord, and be willing to, to invite others into the house of the Lord. I pray, Father God, that you'd be with my son as he takes a test tomorrow, giving him a recollection of the things he studied. Father God, to help him do his best. I pray, Father, for tonight's service. Father God, that you'd help us to uh, have an ear to hear, a heart to receive, and a mind to understand. Lord God, I do lift up uh, Daniel and his family. Daniel, as he gets ready for his uh, preparation for his surgery, that you give these doctors the wisdom and knowledge and the ability to go in and that he'll be able to continue to play his music for your honor and glory. I pray for his wife, Sharice. Father God, as, a, as she's uh, stressing and, and thinking about her dad, I pray, Father God, that you just comfort her and strengthen her. And then, Father God, during this trying time, and Lord, that you'd be with her mother, Delaney, Lord God, that you'd give her mom a, a, a clear mind and a clear heart and a heart that can see the uh, when she, when others are trying to deceive her, that she'll be able to see that. And Father God, that you'd give her the strength and help, Father God, to recover from her sickness as well. Father, tonight we honor you and glorify you in all things. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 It's good to be in the house of the Lord tonight. Amen. What an honor it is to say that we can come into the presence of the Lord, for he is good and worthy to be praised. Amen. Amen.
Blessed is the name of the Lord. There's a, a few verses of scripture I've got to share with you tonight. So if you would, open up your Bible, first of all, to 1 Corinthians chapter 9. 1 Corinthians chapter 9. Once you find your place, would you say amen? Amen. First <clears throat> Corinthians chapter nine. Give our young people a chance to exercise those thumbs and fingers, finding finding where they need to be. Amen. While they're looking, if you've got a testimony that you'd like to share tonight, I'd like to give you that opportunity. some reason it seems darker in Siler City than anywhere I've ever driven. And then with the wet roads, other cars is just a glare. And uh, I still gotta adjust my headlights too. So it's, uh, I, I, you know, I got new headlights in this car, uh, thanks to that deer. And so I've gotta get those raised up a little bit and it's hard, hard to see, but thank you. That's right, Miss Sharon, uh, how long you could say. First Corinthians chapter nine, verse 10. Or saith he it all together for our sakes. For our sakes, no doubt, this is written, that he that ploweth should plow in hope, and he that thresheth in hope should be partaker of his hope. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you again for the reading and hearing of your word. We pray for your guidance through this service. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I'd like to minister tonight a little bit on uh, it's good to hope. I, I was, I grew up in the church. I often heard preachers say, uh, I don't have a hope so religion. I have a no so religion. Have you ever heard that before? And uh, who, somebody says yes. So I, I've heard that several times that I've, I've even preached it myself because you know you hear it and then you just preach what you hear because it sounds good. You know, but the Bible is, begins to teach us that without hope, there's no faith. You know, without having hope. And so here it talks, uh, brings it down to even the man that plants a garden has hope. As you plow your garden and you plant seeds, you have hope that something's going to grow. Amen. As you reap, you hope that everything's going to uh, go okay. 